Hey, what's up, my people? How on a day? Waiting they happen, waiting they sup. Welcome back to our channel. According to the aviation minister, international flights will resume in Nigeria from the 29th of August. The aviation uh, minister made this known through his Twitter account recently. He said the flight will resume at the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, and the Anamdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. But the protocols and procedures will be announced in due course. In his post, he said, glad to announce the resumption off international flight from the 29th of august 2020 beginning with the lagos and abuja as we did with the domestic flight resumption protocols and procedures will be announced in due course we thank you for your patience moving on to the next news here we have morfa morfa has been rearrested by the economic and financial crimes commission that's efcc over alleged money laundry Really? Seriously? Well, according to Punch News, Moffa is currently facing money laundry charges before the Federal High Court. It was gathered that he was rearrested last Friday when he went to the EFCC office in Ikoyi, Lagos. He was at the office to reclaim his five wrist watches, one Apple AirPod, one iPhone 8 mobile phone, and one pair of glasses seized from him by the agency after a court order. Now remember that the court had on July 24 ordered the EFCC to release the items to Monfa. Now the court said the EFCC have no right to seize Monfa's items since the items were not listed as exhibits in the money laundry charges filed against him. And the court also dismissed the submission by the EFCC that Monfa was still under investigation for another offense the judge says there was nothing before the courts to back the submission and now the new reports we're getting is that Moffa has been you know rearrested it's actually shocked me because we thought they've released this guy and it's like it's done you know with the efcc but it seems like efcc have another plan monfa had barely left the premises of the efcc office after collecting the items when the efcc got him arrested again you know and they returned him into custody now what did they have against him this time that is just the big question i really don't know moving on to the next one here we have burner boy burner boy and whiskey chilling together in london i even saw a clip where he said to wheezy that he has nothing to prove again that whis that whiskey has nothing to prove again <laughs> like really no burner boy whiskey have something to prove with the much anticipated made in lagos album please we need whiskey to drop that album <laughs> No, now you know you have nothing to prove again. <laughs> Don't worry. And also, guys, we talked about why most people think Bonner Boy's you know, album is overrated or overhyped, whatever you call it. In fact, let me use this um, opportunity to ask here again, do you think Bonner Boy's album is overrated? Um, because that album got massive promotion. Bonner Boy's face on huge billboards in London um and usa he even appeared on jimmy fallon tonight you know show for the third time in a year performing a medley of the songs wonderful and monsters you made from his new album twice as tall out now here is burna boy and he's also going to appear on jimmy kimmel show soon he posted you know behind the scene just now on his insta stories Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, open! There were mixed reactions you know the live video right but i just want you guys to let me know your best track or tracks on the album and guys so many people have something to say about this dd statement you know he is the executive producer of the album twice as tall so let's read what dd said 
Yeah, Africa, you have been heavy on my mind and my heart. I've been trying to connect to the motherland for a minute, but I never got a chance to do it properly. When I say properly, I mean in a soulful, spiritual way. But during this time we've had off, God blessed me to get a call from my brother, Bonner Boy. He's the first African artist I've been blessed to work with and he didn't know this. But at the time, I was praying to God to bring something to me that would help to bring us all together through music. I think it's so important um, we all make it our mission to build a bridge to the motherland. Let's continue to uplift and build with our brothers and sisters is what they fear the most. Strength in numbers. Love your brother, um, Didi. See you all soon. What do you guys have to say? I'm just going to read some comments here. And of course, you know, I'm going to be waiting for yours um, in the comment section. Enough with all this rubbish talk from this uh, music icon connecting to Motherland. It's all business. African entertainment is now part of the world mainstream that can no longer be ignored. Um, some of these people have been to several countries in Europe at least 50 to 100 times, but they've never set foot in any African country. You don't need to build a bridge to connect with Africa. Park yourselves in a couple of private jets and get VIP passes. Enough of all this unnecessary sentiment. Um, Nigerians believe that the, the whole um, DD statement is really, really unnecessary. And yeah, moving on to the next news. Tacha wins social media influencer of the year, brand influencer of the year, and fashion brand of the year at the Scream Awards. And first, I want to say congratulations to Tacha. But again, as expected, the comparison between herself and Mercy begins. Mercy fans on social media believe it was rigged, and some people said. Uh, it's just a small award. The, that, those awards is insignificant. Well, guys, what is your take about that? Let me know in the comment section below. Now that the federal government is about to reopen the international airport, the filmmakers, actors, and fans are protesting. You know, on social media, they want the cinemas to be open too. You know, I think not just that. I think churches too are open. You know. Um, actors like Omotola Jala, they um, posted um, recently about that. She said, I believe cinemas are easier to uh, monitor and regulate. If other indoor um, places are open, why not the cinemas? Temp checks, uh, mask um, distancing, etc. We need to work together to ensure safer ways to keep the arts going. Many livelihoods depend on this. It can and must be done as safely as possible possible okay guys what do you think about that do you think the cinema should be open do you think that's a priority right now let me know in the comment section below i saw someone saying look we don't really need the cinemas right now if that could you know help us um keep most more people safe you know it's fine we can watch whatever i want to watch on netflix and on youtube moving on to the next news american rapper and businessman kanye west post pictures of his new yeezy sunglasses what do you think would you wear those or buy one i know this would be definitely expensive the rapper took to you know his official um twitter page on monday to share pictures of yeezy's new sunglasses the design of the eyewear has created quite a buzz on twitter and of course you know there is a huge reaction currently as i speak on twitter but we don't have time you know to read some some comments about that let us move on to the next one e-money make it rain in anambra their hometown <laughs> attendance were other big men you understand now as they go a uh, big man like obi kubana and um kubana chief priest you know and the rest of them
Uli Money posted this video on his page with a caption, Family is everything. Uli and Ambra states, hmm, money speaks. Okay, guys, let us move straight to the next one. Fireboy finally drops track list to his yet-to-be-released album. In my live video, I said Fireboy has, you know, already released the album. No, he only released the track list. The album itself will drop on Thursday, 20th of uh, August. Uh, Fireboy must be really special to Olamide. I don't, I don't think, I, I'm not sure that Olamide will release him after a year like, you know, his previous signees. Is he up to a year? Um, I really don't know. I will have to, you know, go back and check. But hey, I think Fireboy is a, is a gold right there and something to keep. But hey, you know how Olamide does, you know, does his things anyway. Um, Fireboy announced he will be releasing the 17th track project Apollo on Thursday through IG and Twitter. He said, my second studio album, Apollo, drops on the 20th of August. This was bound to happen. This album is about evolution, um, growth, um, love and pain. Gratitude to God for blessings. Um, gra gratitude to everyone who worked with me on this album. Gratitude to my team, YBNL slash Empire. My family and the kings who bless this project with their presence. See you on Thursday. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have Lighter. Lighter has finally disabled the comments and likes on his new video, even though it's close to a million views. Lighter has been dragged on social media after he dropped the video of his new song, Hold Me Down. And the reason why he's been dragged, well, you will get to know that in a bit. Um, the 22-year-old Marlian music signee caused a serious trouble on social media, you know, after dropping the video. Uh, fan says the video of the song Hold Me Down is exactly like the Thailand boy band, um, GOT7. Just Right is the title of their own song. The video already got over 150,000 dislikes after dropping on Friday, August 14, 2020, before they disabled you know, the comments and the dislikes. This makes him the Nigerian singer with the highest number of dislikes on a YouTube video. And the thing is, um, hashtag apologize lighter um, also trend in Asia and fans of the boy band in Asia drag lighter on social media. Seriously, guys, they copied, you know, um, the video scene for scene. I'm kind of disappointed that, you know, they had to copy exactly what's in that video. They could actually do their own version, not copy it scene for scene. A video director that could do a video like that, I believe, could be creative. You know, reacting to the accusation, um, his new boss, Naira Mali, tweeted, Lighter, they are dragging your hair in Asia um, right now. Lighter is not the video director. What if it was Yukodu Boys that directed Lighter's new video? Lighter, enjoy your streams, man. Naira Mali also posted um, recently, you know, saying, let's get this she to one million now. Guys, let me know if you agree with Sean Kuti's take about the Nigerian youth and the um, constant oppression um, they face in the society. Let's watch the video. One thing that the rich people in Nigeria do that people don't really talk about mm -hmm. is that rich people in Nigeria are so morally and ethically bankrupt that they chase young girls a lot. So they corrupt a very important process in the development of society. When young men and women are able to interact with each other mutually between those ages of 18 and 26, you know, where everybody is just leaving school, entering university or coming out of university and starting. We found out that all the nicest girls, any girl which is nice, there, all these rich, it's not there to leave them for the young boys to find themselves, make relationships, build network. They will bring themselves from their 50 something year old and 70 something year old life and dive into this cycle and be spending dollars on all these girls and be pouring euro on all these women. And so, so, young, it, it is impossible for you to not tell young boys 
not to try as much as possible to regain control of their own self-esteem, especially when the country is silencing them because of poverty. So this is where many young African people are willing to do crime. People don't understand. Many young African people in Nigeria, in Africa, that they do crime because, you know, they need to feel accepted hmm. by society. They need to be heard. They need to build relationships. And we only, it's not cool in Nigeria to be friends with poor people. Hmm. No good to be rags. It's not cool. Okay, guys, let's go straight to Ghana Entertainment. The politician Kennedy Akiapong <laughs> says Ghanaian celebrities are cheap. Now, this is my problem with Ghanaian celebs. You know, they abuse each other um, so much. You know, the disrespect is, is massive, you know, in that industry. We have that in Nigeria too, but man, Ghana is on another level. These are cheap, cheap, cheap celebrities, they call themselves. How many cheap in this country? You call hmm. these celebrities? Ghana, you have a problem. You have these cheap ladies as your celebrities and role models and role models then we have a problem in this country hmm. they are cheap always on social media talking 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 what do you say okay guys let's move straight to the question of the day well this one is not a question someone shared this with me they want me to read this you know to you guys this person they said need advice okay um Okay, let's read this. Um, good morning, house. I'm a fan and must confess I have learned a lot from your page. My issue is that I am 34 and my fiance is 27. Proposed to my girlfriend of five years. Uh, she accepted, but on a condition that I must pack out of my family house and go rent an apartment. She said even if it's one room, that she's okay with it. We have a big family house in Lagos. Why will I be paying for a rentage? She said if I am not ready to move out, then there will be no marriage. She said she doesn't have anything against my people, that she only need her privacy. I love her, but don't like the condition she's giving me. Please, what do you advise? Okay, guys, what is your advice? Put that down in the comment section below. And again, guys, if you have any stories, seems like I'm this is becoming interesting people are sending me you know this so if you have any story to share if you need any advice you can as well send it to me um through mexincrown at gmail.com and i can of course ask my um fans this is becoming interesting i don't know and you can be in the comment section and to check out for the best advice okay guys that's where i'm going to hold it guys don't forget to like this video okay make sure you like this video and share as well all right and if you're yet to subscribe make sure you subscribe 